And it is the big day. That's my mom walking ahead of me. Okay, it is officially two weeks after my surgery, and if you can't tell, I'm not sick, but my allergies got the best of me. It is March, so it's that time of year where it's like seasonal allergies, and yeah, you know, but other than that, I feel really, really great. Um... Last time I checked the scale, which the scale is broken, it's not working anymore. I, I even changed the batteries, it's not working. Um, I lost 16 pounds so far. Um, and I not only do I like see the difference, I, I feel the difference. Like, um, I think like the first few days coming out of the hospital, I was kind of in a daze. Like I really felt like loopy, I felt kind of groggy. Uh, but I want to say like three days, by the third day I'll be discharged. So I had the surgery on a Friday, Saturday I went home, Sunday, Monday I was still in a daze. But by Tuesday I was feeling better. Um, and then on that Tuesday, I was able to eat. So I had my first little meals, which, um, I don't really like the taste of yogurt. Um, I'm, there's certain foods where I feel like I'm still struggling to eat. Not because they taste nasty, like nothing tastes nasty to me. It's just, it's not settling right for me. And yogurt's one of those, because the yogurt that I had, it was kind of thick, so I didn't really like it. Um, I didn't like the way it went down. Um, or eggs, I can't eat eggs, which I love eggs, but right now, it's just not something I can eat well, like, at all. Um, I love rotisserie chicken. Obviously, I don't eat the skin, but I'll take, like, the, I think this is so soft and it's, like, easy to shred. Um, I can eat that, like, just fine. I can eat fruits and veggies fine. As long as the veggies are, like, super, super cooked, almost overcooked. That way, they're, like, super soft. Um like soft it has to be like really soft like you're feeding a toddler that's basically how i eat like a toddler but um other than that i don't drink any decaf coffee because i just don't like it i haven't tried any teas decaf teas Every everything right now has to be decaffeinated only thing i'm drinking is my water and i don't just drink any water any like anymore this is a life water. Uh, I have bought a pack of these. I do have to drink 64 ounces of water a day. Uh, it was hard at first because I couldn't take large drinks of water without um, it coming back up. But now I can drink the water perfectly fine. Um, sometimes it's more of a mental game. A mental game because if I buy a big 33 ounce water um it feels sometimes like a challenge but i'll have to drink like four of these 16 ounces and i'm fine it's just it's kind of weird it kind of plays on my mind a lot um but yeah i drink water that has electrolytes in it so yeah um as of like i don't have any pain um, sometimes I feel like 
not pain from my surgery, but um, I just feel like my body is changing. So it's not pain that I feel. It's like I feel like I feel the changes. Um, like my um, my stomach itches, but I feel like it itches because the skin is getting looser. So like I can before I, I had stretch marks, but like not a lot, and I feel like I'm getting smaller. So I'm getting more stretch marks, but I'm not scratching my stomach. It's just from losing the weight. I don't know. I don't know what to do about the stretch marks, but um, I feel like you can tell the difference in my face already. Um, I'm not as bloated as I always would look. I feel like I look like my old self. Um, it's kind of weird but it's cool as far as hair loss i've had a little bit of hair loss not a lot um that's kind of one thing i want to like not stress myself i don't want to stress myself out because if you know i lost all my hair when i had covid um when i had covid i had like lost 20 pounds in like one week like a, a lot and then i didn't realize till a month later when like all my hair came out like literally i had my hair in a ponytail and it was like half of it was already out of my head um so i don't want to stress myself out i'm trying not to stress myself out about anything i just feel like um i'm a believer in god and i just feel like um god brought me this far and he's always going to take care of me so i don't have to worry about anything if that makes sense and I feel like that's one thing that has changed is like I used to always have like a lot a lot a lot of anxiety and I would like um I'm getting emotional <laughs> my emotions are all over the place um I would get like really um anxious I have insomnia I would emotionally eat a lot and now I just feel like um obviously like i need a i just i just don't have the anxiety like i used to have um i just feel like i'm in a period in my life where like i let go of a lot of things and i just like i just feel like i left it in the past and from this day forward after my surgery like i'm focusing on myself and i'm focusing on just um this new life you know i really got to pay attention to my health where a lot of things where I feel like my stress and my anxiety were affecting my health very, very negatively, where it was affecting my life. Um, and that's just kind of where I'm at right now is like, I feel lighter, not just in weight, but I actually feel lighter in my emotions. Um, and um, I'm super happy. All right. So I do go back to work on Monday. I've been on um, a leave for the past two weeks for my surgery um so one thing i did buy is i bought a lunch bag it's pretty big like honestly it is kind of big i bought it at tj maxx um so i bought the lunch bag and then i bought these little cups because um i'm only gonna be able to eat small portions so typically i work because i work out pretty early in the morning and I'm not going to really be able to eat breakfast before work. So I'm most likely going to have to eat breakfast at work. So I bought these little containers. And let me see. I bought some other ones too. I bought these containers too. So that I could just bring food and it'd be like the portions I need. And like I could have my lunch and breakfast here. Most likely, I'll, obviously, I'm going to come home and eat dinner, but I'll have my food in these small portions. So, you say these are for, like, condiments, but this is probably not as much as I'm going to be able to eat for breakfast and lunch. So, those are perfect. Um, I'm not, I, well, I haven't bought any clothes well i bought like some rompers um 
Okay, no, that's a lie. I did buy some clothes. I bought like some rompers on Shein. Um, and I didn't really know. I don't know how my weight's gonna come off. Like, I don't know how fast it's gonna come off. But um, I don't really want to buy too much clothes just because I have a lot of clothes. I have clothes from before I had gained a lot of weight and I have like a lot of clothes that I really don't need to buy clothes unless I lose like 50 more pounds and then I'm like won't, won't fit in anything that I have but as of right now like I'm fitting into like my old clothes like really comfortably where before I would wear it would be like super tight on me I feel so uncomfortable um but now it's like yeah even my feet are smaller I guess because I'm not like really eating anything that has like a lot of sodium um my feet are smaller it's weird which means like I could wear my shoes again because for a while I was not wearing my shoes um because I felt like my feet were so big they wouldn't fit in my shoes yeah so that's one thing um i'm just gonna show like i got a bonnet at um tj maxx just because I, I have curly hair you guys so um uh, sometimes i wake up and it looks really bad and i don't like sleeping on silk pillows it just feels weird to me so i bought this in hopes that like i could wear it at night and like when and maintain my curls and then i just got a body scrubber something special and i got these feet feet foot masks so yeah i went to tj maxx the other day and i was gonna film when i was in there but um it was my first place i went that was like a um, where I got like really hot inside I got like really hot inside TG Maxx and I think that was like the first day where my my allergies were like really taking over so yeah uh, but oh another thing is that um, I had this big old grand plan <laughs> that I was gonna move to Texas and I th at this point it's really much like I just don't feel ready to move to Texas um, maybe in a few months I will uh, feel different I'll feel more ready it's just right now especially like I just had surgery um, I just don't feel ready to move I've, I want to kind of take my time um, definitely save up more money um, the area I was looking to move to was Dallas, and I live in, well, I live in Chandler right now, but I'm from Phoenix, I'm from Arizona, and it's it's not cheap here, and it's not cheap there, like, I was looking at, um, I mean, I don't really like apartments, but I was looking at apartments in Dallas, and it costs as much, um, uh, to live there, the, 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 the same that it does out here in Arizona and almost the same in California and it's like I don't know I don't know you guys like I mean the money I would have to make out there and then I don't know I just feel like not cold feet I just feel like I really need to think about what I'm gonna do career wise um, as far as like what I want to do next because yeah I feel like I already outgrown my position at my job I need kind of something higher up or maybe something different um or we'll see you know I, I kind of want to take this year as just a year of like rebuilding myself because the past couple years were really hard uh, they were really hard for me so yeah um uh, other than that i do want to thank you guys uh, for anybody who watches my videos um hopefully more to come i am still filming on my phone 
I hope the audio is really good. Uh, I have a few financial things I need to do before I can buy another camera. So hopefully if everything goes well this month, then next month I could buy a new camera. So we shall see. But I do want to thank you for watching.